Hello everyone! You come home after a long day at work or school and you just want to sit down and enjoy a nice movie on TV. But you're basically drowning in the dozen remote controls that you don't know at this point which controls which. This is quite an annoying occurrence that we have to struggle with every freaking day. Well, the solution to this is literally in your pocket. That's why on this video, I'm making a home automation system based on a Raspberry Pi and controlled by an Android application. For this, we need the Raspberry Pi module 2, with of course an SD card containing the official operating system Raspbian, and some heat sinks for the CPU and the network chip. Or we can use Raspberry Pi module 3, it's practically the same thing here. Some jumper wires. An IR LED A power supply for the Raspberry Pi And the most important thing, connected objects The idea is very simple I wrote a Python script that communicates with the connected objects in my network To control them by sending commands Either to power on, power off, volume up, volume down Play, pause, navigate, etc. Either directly or through third party libraries that I've installed on the Raspberry Pi, such as Lurk for sending infrared codes and OnCube for sending the AV receiver commands. For this matter, we need some basic skills in network programming and the basic knowledge in communication protocols. I'll be then creating a server-client communication between the Raspberry Pi as a server and the Android application as a client. For each IR commanded equipment, we need a pin that sends the IR codes and the pin to the ground. I'm doing this to control the TV and the projector. We can use an IR LED like this one, or we can DIY our own infrared transmitter. I'll show you how to do that on another video. Power the Raspberry Pi, connect it to the network, and here we go! Let's test all this. Choose a media room, then power on. TV turns on and the AV receiver too. Then I'm gonna navigate a little bit in the media server to choose a good movie to watch. that later if I power off the TV turns off and disappears and the AV receiver turns off too Now, I'm gonna test the projection. Power on. And the projector shows. Normally, we should have a white screen here coming down at the same time as the projector. But it wasn't wired at the time of the footage. 
so I just had to do what I can with what I had. Now we're gonna power off just like we did with the media room. And let there be light. This is my favorite part. Because first, I love lighting. And second, because in the user interface, I made the bulb changes its color according to the light intensity, which is, in my opinion, a very cool idea. Well, that's it. I hope you like it. Until next time, cheers!